Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here on this fine day and I'm going to take you through uh, an, an update that happened to Adobe Illustrator in September 2019 and, and more specifically to the Simplify command which allows you to remove unnecessary anchor points from your vector artwork to make the whole editing process a lot easier. If this is your first time visiting and you want to learn best practice techniques to create killer artwork then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. So here I have on screen Actually, I've got a split screen here. Now, on the left-hand side, I'm going to show you the way that Simplify used to work prior to the September update. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to show you a direct comparison of how it now works. The way that you do this is you select your object, of course, and then go up to the object menu, and then go down the list to Path, and then choose Simplify. So the first thing to know is that Illustrator the new version will auto-simplify your selected object. So you will see an immediate change on screen. That wasn't the way in the old dialog box. The other thing is that it looks very different. So it's not immediately apparent where you would hover over and click on this panel here to move it around. But the far left or far right hand side will be good. Now, technically we have, as you can see here, the button tells us it's applied an edit to the object. There's no OK button to this. So if I accidentally uh, click away from my object, that panel disappears, but it's still applied the edit. It might not be what you want. So just be aware of that. I mean, you could always go back into auto. Uh, you could always go back into simplify again and, and change it afterwards, but just something to be aware of. So I'm going to go back a step with a keyboard shortcut, make sure my object's still selected, and then go back to object, down to path, and then choose simplify once more. So I'm going to pull this panel up here. You'll notice now that, again, we've got Auto Simplify. It doesn't really match the nice straight lines that we had in the original. Yes, it's done a great job of removing the additional anchor points that we don't need. Uh, but here, you'll notice that we have a slider where I can drag this towards the left-hand side to get less anchor points. It will give you a pop-up in it and tell you what the anchor point count is. If I drag it to the far right-hand side for the maximum, 54 points in here. So there's not a great deal of difference. But it's still not quite what I'm looking for. So then... Really, you'll need to go to the ellipses for more options and click on that to get the dialog box. So you'll notice that it has given me a convert to straight lines in here, which is good. Um, the uh, simplified curve at the top is deactivated now because it's all composed of straight lines. And then what I'll need to do then from here is to basically take my cursor and swipe over that. I have lost some anchor points. So I'll need to tap down on my cursor key in here to reduce that and now as you can see, there seems to be a threshold with this object that really going above 84 causes problems. So um, if I leave that set to 84, that is pretty much about what I can get away with in here. You'll notice that I have uh, the original uh, 102 points and the new one 63 points. So that pretty much more or less exactly matches what the old simplified dialog box would do with straight lines. So again, it's, you know, it was efficient at straight lines and it's still efficient now. Um, you could always go back and click on auto simplify, but I don't think I need to in here. I think I've really achieved everything I need to do and I'll click OK. Now with this example, I'm going to go back to object again, down to path and then to simplify. So um, I'll get the same dialog box popping up on screen. Again, I could stick with auto simplify if I felt that was good, you know, and hey, look, it's done a pretty good job. It's not far from the original. I could go and add maybe a few more anchor points in there, but really I want to see a comparison between the new and the old version. So again, I'll go to the more options in here and open up the dialog box. Now, I don't actually want to have uh, converts to straight lines. I'll turn that off and then if I turn it back on again, you'll see that it's kind of a little bit twitchy is that checkbox. When you come to the style box, it isn't technically using convert to straight lines in there. So just watch out for that one as well. I'm going to turn that off and then I get my two sliders very similar to before. So I can deal all with the amount of curvature and then the, uh, the angle that it's going to cut off some of these corners at. Now, I do want to turn on show original. So you can see here that done a pretty good job. I've now got 26 points to articulate this new shape in here, and it's very close to the original, uh, which had 63. So that is already uh, an improvement on the old Simplify. So if I was now in this case to just keep uh, dragging my uh, angle point in here, I can, it's a little bit of back and forth, to be honest, between the two. So I just want to remove some of these anchor points in here. If I drag that all the way to the far right hand side, it's probably too much. Um, I could then go back up to the simplified curvature and then maybe look if I can get away with removing some of that curvature. Notice that there isn't a, a numerical field 
Uh, you've only got a slider for simplified curve um, for some strange reason. Don't know why. Um, but in here, I think I think I'm fairly close to what the original looked like. Um, there's a couple of little bits again, which you always had with simplify. Uh, there's a little bit of a corner just missing there. If I drag that towards the right hand side, will it bring it back in? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. So I have to drag it really high. But again, notice that you know matching that in there i've got an extra anchor point in that region it's still only 26 points so it's a vast improvement on what i got from the old simplified dialog box in there so might just see if i can just reduce that a touch in there now i think that's probably about as good as i'm going to get from that so yeah i'll leave it set to the maximum for the curvature but again as i say uh, the new count there for 26 is is really good um, and then from here, I'll click OK. So as you can see here, this is the summary page for the September update. Um, a lot of focus has been on efficiency, opening up files, talking to network drives and things like that. You'll also find um, under stability and other improvements that there is uh, under fixed issues in here. In particular, uh, one that I used to find very frustrating was the way that it used to scale. So if you use the properties panel and the link icon to maintain the aspect ratio, sometimes it would um, it would scale uniformly and you would do what it expected to do. Other times it wouldn't. So that has been addressed in this update in September 2019. But um, yeah, so you can go to the website. There's a full rundown there of all the kind of bug fixes and um, and the feature summaries as well. I'll include a direct link to these pages in the show notes so you can take a look at those as well. As always, folks, if you found the video uh, useful, please give it a thumbs up. You can always subscribe, click on the bell, all those things. And until next time, farewell, folks.